focus on your breath and allow the breath to be comfortable. Pose the question in the mind. What kind of breathing would feel really good right now? There's nothing else to take your attention away from the breath. You have no other responsibility, so you can give your full attention to how the breathing feels and allow the breath to be as nourishing as possible. Because the mind needs nourishment. And for the most part, it goes out looking for sights, sounds, smells, tastes, tactile sensations that it likes. And it gets some that it likes, and it gets others that it doesn't like. It's like a machine that goes around just gobbling down everything that gets in its path. Except it's not a machine. Sometimes things get stuck in your mind, and it's, it's like something getting stuck in your stomach. You can't digest it, you can't get it out, and you just sit there in a lot of pain. Some of the things that we encounter in life are like that. We gobble them down, and then it's only too late when we realize what we've gobbled down. So you've got to cure this habit of gobbling down everything that comes your way by giving the mind something good to eat all the time inside. That way it's not hungry for things outside. It actually gets a lot stronger, because there's nourishment that comes from when the mind is concentrated and when it's mindful, it can develop discernment. These are all things that really strengthen the mind, as opposed to the food that you get through nice smells, nice sounds, nice tastes, nice sights. That's like junk food for the mind. It doesn't really give you any nourishment. The stuff that you get from inside, though, that really does nourish you. And that way, when you go out into the world and you see things coming past, you don't have to gobble them down. You can be a little bit more selective. You focus on the things that really are helpful, really are nourishing for the mind. As for things that would make it sick, that give rise to greed, aversion, and delusion, you can let those go, because you're not so hungry. You've got a good source of nourishment inside. That changes the balance of power. You're no longer a slave to everything that comes by. You can rise above these things and use your powers of discernment to see okay, what's worth focusing on, what's not. And you can carry this into other areas of your life. What, what tasks are worth doing, which ones are not. Because sometimes you do something because you're, you have a sense there's going to be a little reward at the end, like a little bit of food at the end of a long job. You have to ask yourself, is the job worth it? If you're not really hungry, there are a lot of jobs that you realize you don't want to take on. It's when you're starved for nourishment that you just take on everything that comes your way. So learn how to feed the mind properly so it's in a much better position to choose what it wants to take on, what it wants to let go. And at the same time, it's got some really solid nourishment inside, because you're feeding it with the kind of food that develops its strengths, the strengths that it needs to depend on itself, the strength of concentration, the strength of mindfulness. All these good strengths. These are the things that really make the mind healthy.